Hello and welcome back. Today I'll be covering the installation of PSMP in Privileged Cloud using a proxy server. My name is Brad McDowell and I'm a senior Privileged Cloud consultant here in Australia. And this video is much shorter today. The objectives are we'll cover the lab overview and what I've added, and then we'll install the PSMP version 13.2 using a web proxy, and then I'll go ahead and test the PSMP service. So here's the lab. Uh, so it's the same lab as the previous videos. Today we're adding this PSMP 10, Rocky Linux version 8.6. And this server has the same internet access as the connector server 10 uh, via the web proxy server. So with all that out of the way, I'll go over to the lab now. Here we are on workstation one. And first we'll set the installer user password by going to the identity administration, click on users, all service users, and we'll go to the installer user here and we'll go to the actions menu and set the password. And this password will be used later during the installation. I'll now open up Windows Terminal and we'll use this command to transfer the Privileged Cloud Session Manager for SSH version 14, which I've just downloaded from the marketplace. And this will be transferred onto our new PSMP server into the home directory. We'll stick in our password and that's transferred. I'll now SSH onto PSMP 10. And I'll just clear the screen and I'll make this a bit bigger. So at the moment, this server doesn't have internet access. And if we try and do something like sudo DNF update, it won't be able to access the internet. So I'll just hit control C to get out of that. I'll just clear the screen again. So to get DNF working, we'll edit the dnf.conf file, just so we can install a few packages uh, via the proxy server. And we'll go to the bottom here. We'll hit I for insert and we'll make a new line and we'll add in the proxy details. What this will do uh, is allow uh, DNF to download uh, via the proxy server. So hit escape colon and then WQ for right quit and then we should be able to download some packages. So the packages I want to install are wget, unzip, and nano, just to make life easier. So like yes for that. So that's installed. So I'll clear the screen. Uh, the next step we need to do is edit the environment variables. So we'll run the sudo nano and etc slash environment file here. And we'll enter in our proxy details here. We'll hit Control X and Y to save and enter to confirm. Now this file is edited, uh, we can run some commands to refresh the environment file, but I'm going to reboot the server and come back. So that's sudo reboot. And we'll SSH back onto PSMP 10. And there we are. So I'll just clear the screen. And we'll list the contents of the directory. And here's a file we transferred to this machine earlier. I'll just click make this a bit neater by creating a directory called PSMP and we'll move the file to the new directory. There we are. There's a file in the new directory. I'll just clear the screen and we'll use the wget command to download the uh, PSMP whiz for version 13.2. And here we'll unzip the privileged session manager uh, version 14. And we'll find it's still version 13.2 inside the package, which is why we downloaded uh, version 13.2 for the PSMP whiz. I'll just clear the screen. We'll run the command chmod755. And there's three files I like to edit. So that's the create cred file, the the RPM file for the Cyberarc PSMP and the PSMP whiz uh, file. So I'll just uh, change the permissions on that. And if we do an ls-ltr, we can see those files have the execute permissions. Next, we'll need to edit the vault.ini file. So I'll just do that now. And down further in here, we need to uh, define the address of the vault server. and define the proxy details. 
So it's important that proxy type is HTTPS. Uh, I've been called out by using HTTP as it suggests here. So HTTPS is what you'll need. So we'll hit Control X and Y to confirm and enter to close it. I'll just clear the screen and then we'll run sudo and then the path to the PSMP whiz script. Hit y, we'll hit Y and that'll create the proxy MNG account. I'll just document this password and press enter. We'll allow the proxy MNG to have sudo use and I'll allow it to have sudo privileges. Next, we'll enter in the privilege cloud portal URL and confirm the vault address. We'll hit yes to perform a connectivity test. And it's expected that the vault connectivity test will fail just due to the way the uh, test is conducted. Uh, I'll continue anyway, because I'm expecting this error. And then we'll test logging into the vault with the installer user credentials via the um, API. Okay, so the script's completed. Uh, it's important to do these steps here as well. Uh, I'm not going to do them in this demo because I did this in the last PSMP video. If we switch back to Privilege Cloud and go to System Health and the PSM and PSM for SSH section, we should see the new PSMP uh, 10 server here, which is good. Now we're not quite there yet. I'll just switch back to the PSMP 10 server and I'll just clear the screen. And I'll demonstrate why we have a problem. And we'll use this command to monitor the PSMP trace log. And I'll open up a new terminal tab and we will attempt to test the PSMP service by running this command. I'm just going to try and log on to one of the Linux servers that we onboarded in a previous video. What will happen here when we press enter, it'll just sit here and do nothing. And if we go back to the log here, we can see that it's trying to execute a request to the uh, authent start authentication API for the identity URL here. What's happening here, it's not able to access that via the proxy because it's, it hasn't been configured yet. So I just wanted to demonstrate this potential common problem. So I'll hit control C on that. And what we need to do to fix this problem, we need to open up the PSMP service uh, configuration file and we'll add in the proxy details. So if I go down to this line here and go to the end of the line and add in the proxy variable, hit control X, then Y, then enter to close it. And we'll run the command sudo systemctl daemon reload and then we'll restart the PSMP service. Now that that's restarted, we'll switch over to the other Windows Terminal tab and we'll reattempt our connection. And immediately it's asking for our password and we'll enter in our code manually that appears to be logging on. I'll type in the command w. This will tell us that we're connected from the .29 server, which is PSMP 10. I'll now type in exit if we go back to Privilege Cloud, go to our accounts view and go to the server that we just logged onto and go to the activities tab, we can see the commands we just entered a moment ago. So the PSMP is working as expected. And I'll finish the video here. Today we've installed the PSMP or PSM for SSH via a proxy server and we're successfully tested that we could connect to it. And once again, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.